Hey everyone, this is Kit with Chicago Reacts, and today I'm going to be reacting to I Use Drones to Make a Nightmare Factory Even Worse, Satisfactory. Let's game it out. Well then, let's play it out, and be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and if there's a fun video you want us to react to, type it in the comment section below. Let's get things started. Josh, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Oh boy, let's play some Satisfactory today. We love this game around here, where there are endless ways to shatter your bones. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's catch you up on what's happened so far. First, we built a wonderful, normal, working factory for Good. like a second. Then it turned into this, then into this, this. and then this, Net. and also some of this. Eventually, we reach nuclear power. It produces a lot of energy, but more than that, it produces beautiful, toxic byproducts. So much so that it hurt to exist here, and we had to Flee. So after that, we slid our way over to Oranger Pastures, and this okay. time we did it right. We erased all of this nature, we okay. put down a beautiful working factory, and we can't forget about hypertubes, which is good for normal transportation, or linking them together, and going so fast, you leave this dimension. Or if you split the difference, you can create a machine where we can aim this cannon back at our old base, and see if we can reclaim that irradiated nightmare. And Aww. that's what brings us to here. So we have a couple of pressing concerns. Each and every one of those barrels that's active hurting me while I talk. That's okay, though. I've got my handy dandy inhaler here, so whenever my health is getting me down... Right. Uh, anyway, there let me give go. you the grand tour before we get started. Here we have sumptuous radiation issues, followed by even more radiation issues. And we're gonna have to figure this out fast, because I don't know what happened, but this place is definitely cursed now. And even more radiate. Oh, it looks like things have kind of come to a standstill. Ew. I guess it makes sense, though. After all, over here in this side of our base, the land of nuclear power plants, there's been a couple of changes since we were last here. See, the last time we were in this base was before they added fluid to the game. And now that all of these beauties have been magically retrofitted, it requires not just these, which are uranium fuel rods, but it also requires that we have water to cool the whole thing down, which obviously we don't have, based oh. on this giant gaping hole, which means that we've got all of these plants and none of them are working right now, which honestly is probably both good and bad. Good because no working means no nuclear wasty. The bad is okay. these being offline means we don't have any power coming to our base. Don't worry though, we're gonna get this all back online. And the first step is gonna be getting all this radiation out of here. First things first, we're gonna need some items. Good thing we've got materials everywhere. Not to mention stockpiles of the best stuff. A whole container full of things that blow up. And me with a detonator. And you know what that means. I can't just blow this stuff up by hand, can I? <laughs> Well, it was worth a shot. Good worth to know where these things are anyway. So step one is we gotta flush out all of these barrels. Or else I don't think reality is ever coming back together again. <laughs> so we're gonna go all the way over here to the outskirts of this madness. I see you flying up there, don't judge me. And basically we need to figure out how to get all these barrels out from our base. Let's just use this convenient thing called a splitter. And then we'll build out a conveyor belt from there. And we'll just keep running this. And we'll just take it all the way to the edge here. I'm not really sure what the plan is, seeing as how there's nothing down here. But hey, at least it's getting all this water waste away from the rest of my factories. And okay. at the end of all this, we'll go ahead and put a nice big storage container. There you go, fellas. Welcome to your temporary new home. So while we wait for all of this stuff to finish filtering out of here, let's get some other vital stuff done. As mentioned, okay. for the time being, none of these are working. You know, I know where there is working power, though. And it's just one quick slide away. Ah, home sweet second home. I missed you, security <laughs> blanket of pipes and conveyor belts and materials. Anyway, we're not here for sightseeing. No, we're here for that power. That dirty, environmentally unfriendly coal power. Let's all just right. go ahead and connect one of these power lines and let's go ahead and build all the way back. Starting from there, this is us, all the way back to our other base. Super easy to just run these forever. Don't worry, <laughs> this isn't gonna take any time at all. And we always know when we're getting closer to home because the frame rate takes a dive and everything hurts. Although, now that I'm in the main part of the factory, I think all the radiation's been filtered out. And I'm not taking damage anymore. I'm so happy it's time to use Use my inhaler again. Anyway, where were we? Oh, hello. What the yeah. hell are you? Pet the lizard doggo. Don't mind if I do. Oh. You ran away, shoot him. Okay, well, great talk. Looks like the barrels are still coming, which shows that the process is working all the way to barrel heaven. And we know that for sure because look at our glorious radiation levels. Quite the radioactive vessel. And as we get closer, I'm really hurting. Now, in theory, this should be enough because the farther away we get, the lower the radiation goes. And if we're far enough away, the radiation goes away entirely. But okay. I don't want to lose this entire area to that. Isn't there a way we can get rid of this stuff permanently? Most other items in the game 
game you can just throw in the little trash can here. Oh, but not these barrels. It doesn't want you to do that. All right, let's leave this for a second and come over here. And let's test some stuff on an area that doesn't have radiation. Okay, so hmm. getting rid of stuff. We can't just grab an item, drag it out of our inventory, because then it goes straight here on the ground. And sure, we can throw these things, but no other items can we throw like that. So I wonder if there is any way we can... Oh, what the hell did that? You? You knocked me off? Oh, I bet you guys think you're so clever, don't you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, we learned something new just now. Those guys can throw themselves off. So the question is, can we somehow attach the radiation to these fellas? And then just lead them off a cliff. Okay, hold on. I got an idea. Let's build out a couple of little platforms. And then let's add some walls. Okay. Hey, come back here. I have need of you. Come on. Come on. Okay, better. Stay right there. I'm just going to put something on top of you. Easy. Well, technically it's on top of him, but I don't think it's part of him. Nope, definitely not. So I think it's safe to assume that there's no way to actually attach this to these creatures. Oh. Well, thanks for trying. So for my next idea, we're going to need one of these. A pale berry. So do you remember that lizard doggo that we saw? As you can see, he's a little bit timid if we get too close. But if we take these here pale berries, go ahead and just put them on the ground. Little doggo friend loves them. And now he trusts us. Aww. And now we have the message to see if lizard doggo found anything. Basically, now he has an inventory and occasionally he'll find stuff and bring it to us. But we can also put things in that slot. And now it's just carrying it around while it follows us. So of course I think we have another question. Can this little guy carry a stack of barrels? Only one way to find out. Come on, little guy. Okay, where no. were we? Get ready for no. a journey. Oh, hey! He found me some flower petals. That's so sweet. I love you too. I'll take those. And here, you have these 258 barrels of toxic waste. And Lizard Doggo seems unaffected by the tremendous amount of radiation. Well, you know what happens next, right? Now let's see. How am I gonna get you to want to be down there. What if we build some platforms all the way out here? Come on. Come on. Come no, on. Come no. on. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Uh, You're a good boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. mission successful. Oh, no. let's do it again. Hey there, little guy. I've got something for you. Okay, I don't condone this. The lizard doggo is everyone's friend. I can't condone this. No, 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 no. Look, you got the toxic waste, but leave the lizard doggos alone. Good God, that took forever. But at least we got them. Make yourselves at home in the waiting room. Here, no. I'll even give you a window to look through. All right, so here's the thing. I've been doing some thinking, and I don't know if I can bear to watch them fall down onto the cliffs below. I mean, after all, look at these little guys. Look at those little faces. They deserve better than that. That's why instead, we're going to use something else. Jump pads. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and... No, Excellent. wait, wait, right, I no. I guess we need to test if it works. I'm not condoning this. Yep, that'll about do it. All right, come on, little guy. Let's get you all suited up. Okay, okay, okay. You know what to do. No. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that was a rousing success. No! And before you know it, our nuclear waste problems are solved. Okay, come on out, fellas. You look all ready for prime time. Let's not just wander them over here. Instead, let's aim a bounce pad back this direction, build a couple layers up, and we'll put the other bouncy thingy at the top here. Okay. There no. you go. No. Oh, you guys spread each other out. Well, at least that one made it. Oh, God. Uh, and for this one, let's see if we can get nothing but net. No! Oh, close enough. No! Getting rid of radioactive waste would be so much fun. Okay, we only have a couple more to go here. Have fun, guys. Ah, that's a victory, looks like. One last straggler, huh? You might want to avert your eyes for this. Well, looks like that took care of the radiation. Time to deal with the next... Rest in peace, lizard doggos. I would like to have a lizard doggo, but this is a, this is cruelty beyond belief. Dare I say it? This satisfactory creates nothing but villains. Mess. Getting all this back online. We do still have to deal with radiation, of course, because to power these plants, we use these uranium fuel rods. But it shouldn't be too hard to deal with. All we need to do is focus on the water part. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten that this one needs water too. First things first is we need to locate a water source. And you know, I think I know just the place. Oh yeah, and this reactor over here too. Okay, so all we really need to do is find some nice deep water. You know, this water doesn't appear to be terribly deep. Maybe it'll work anyway. Let's see. Time for some water. 
water extraction. Uh, yep, looks like it's gonna be just fine. Okay, and now all we need to do is run some pipes. Hey, I'm sure this will be just fine, right? Pretty sure water doesn't naturally want to go uphill like that, but what do I care what water wants? I just care that it connects. Okay, and with that all connected, the entire base still doesn't have power, so we need to draw upon our power lines that are from the other base. I'm glad that you can drag these power lines out over to a cliff and then right into a waterfall. <laughs> Whatever, they'll allow it, so I'll do it. Okay, let's see. How are we doing? Water appears to be extracting at a perfectly whatever flow rate, and you can tell it's doing its job by this little thing here because of the things doing things. As you can tell, I totally understand how water works in this game. The important part is that if we come all the way over here and we check the pipes, we can see the water's running all the way here just fine. And if we look at the plant itself, water's all there, uranium's all there. Looks like power is back on the menu. And onward to the other power plants. All right, excellent. I think we've done some really fine work here. Let's see if everything connects as planned. Let's start with one initially. Well, doesn't appear to be any water getting here, at least not yet. What do you mean this weird, gross, illogical pipe system isn't working? <laughs> I mean, if you take a look at our splitter here, this one's getting plenty of water, as is this part right here. Oh, wait, the flow sucks. So without really knowing what we're doing, we're gonna use this pipeline pump. Allows fluids to be transported 20 meters upwards. Okay, well, great. Work your magic. Okay, there we go. Looks like we have more flow coming through this thing. Sorta. Water sure is weird. Ah, yes, much better. Full capacity in the pipes. That's what I like to see. Okay, how okay. are we working, you big behemoth? Ah, yes. Burning water too fast and occasionally offline. That's what we call progress. You know what? Why am I trying so hard? After all, this is a pretty large space. Let's see how many of these can fit. And then two and three three, and four. Okay, that seems better. We have a All couple right. more. Quite a bit more. I have no idea how many are in here. All I know is it's more than I had, and I hope it's enough to siphon up the entire ocean. Now it's time to get to the piping. Ta-da! Pipes, pipes, and more pipes. No, I spent this is a little madness. time building just a couple of pipe systems. Here, let me give you the grand tour. Basically, they start here, and then they extend out here, and then they route over here, and then God only knows where they go next. Pretty much if there's ground to cover, that's where we put pipes. And I do mean anywhere where there's ground to cover. Or if it's cliffs, also now pipes. Heading past this first power plant, that's right, pipes. And we just follow this very comprehensive pipe system. How you doing there, buddy? You having a good time? And we just keep on going to follow where the pipes go, until eventually we make it over, where we can see water making it to all of our power plants. Who would have thought pipes were so easy? All you gotta do is just have so many running everywhere, that eventually everything can connect and have water. Water. And yeah, sure, when these things are producing power, they also produce nuclear byproducts. But that's a solved problem. Everybody wins. And with all these glorious no. power plants up and working again, so too are our factories. Yeehaw to beautiful, endless manufacturing. Oh, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about this guy. I know we need to get water up here too. And I know that seems pretty daunting, but don't you worry, I've got an idea. So hold, please. And connected. See, that wasn't so hard to get water up here. All I had to do was build a couple of water pipes. A lot of water pipes. A lot, a lot, a lot of water pipes. Yep, this is what I did. I started with a pipe on the ground, ran it all the way to the start okay. of my conveyor belt tornado, and then just kept building and building and building. And before you know it, fresh water straight from the source. And boy, howdy, is this doing amazing things to the frame rate. I'm just glad that it turned out putting all this pipe down was easy. That said, while I noticed the radiation nightmare is over. Oh boy, have I noticed some cursed stuff still happening. You know, I think I know what we can do. Granted, I don't want to waste all this beautiful manufacturing prowess or this gross thing, but I think I have an idea to salvage our factory and our frame rate. So let's head back over to Red Base, where we've got our hub. In the hub is where we unlock new milestones. And over here in Tier 7, we have something called Aeronautical Engineering. And in that, we okay. have something called Drones. Transports available input back and forth between its home and destination ports. I like the sound of that. So in order to unlock these things, we need to amass all of these items. And then we just feed it all into the machine. A big old button appears, which will send this cargo container right here into orbit. But before we do that, I have kind of an idea. Can you take an explosive to outer space for me? Only one way to find, find out. out. And launch. Okay, have a nice summer. Go. 
Oh, that does work. Well, oh. nice to see it's completely unaffected. And now because of our generous contributions, we have fun new toys. So for starters, we can't just put a drone down right here in the sand. It needs to go in the drone port. Okay, okay. I see how this works. It's like a little carrier thing. Batteries to power the drones go in here. And these are like in and out points for importing and exporting materials. Easy peasy lemon whatever. Couldn't be more simple. Okay, yeah, and drones fit right here. Look at that, ready to transport. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and connect this thing. All the way through our pile of crap. I mean, surely somewhere in here are batteries, right? Wait, wait. Those look like batteries to me. Quickly, new conveyor belt. Add a splitter and now take some of those batteries. Now that these are well underway, we're gonna put two storage containers. One for the imports and one for the exports. Okay, there's obviously a lot more into this, uh, but you know... <sighs> Uh, I, I would like to play this game as well. Satisfactory. It's, it's something about it, but honestly, I just don't have it in me to do anything to the lizard doggos. I just, I just couldn't do it. And for stuff to transport, I'm just going to use copper. Not for any reason, just because I have it. And now we need to configure the drone port. And we're going to name this first port Sandy Offy. And now let's move a little bit away from this station here and add another drone port over here. And we'll set up another container. This one's going to be just for receiving. And we're going to name this second port. Give me goodies. <laughs> Excellent. And we're going to set set it up so that Sendy Offy has a destination port of gimme goodies. Oh, and the moment we set this up, look what's happening. Wait, don't leave without me. Let's see where this thing goes. Wow, we're really high up here. We're flying as high as my rail gun even. Well, looks like it's going to the destination, and it looks like it's coming in for a nice, smooth landing. Oh, and here comes our supplies. Perfect, that worked like a charm. And then when it's done it, whoa! It takes off in a perfect pattern to do some sweet air maneuvers before landing in its original pad again, to pick up more supplies before doing it all again. Kind of curious what I can do with this thing. Like, I see it doing all these evasive maneuvers, but like, if I build foundations and just intentionally try and get in its way, is it gonna know how to deal with this? We're about to find out. But, huh, it, it doesn't went, care at all. It went right <laughs> and through it. it goes. Well, that's an interesting that's... first test. If it doesn't care about collision, this gives me an idea. So here's my master plan. We're going to use those drones to take all these luscious supplies and transfer them to our other non-cursed base. Because after all, we don't want all these supplies or all this luscious power to go to waste now, do we? No. Of course not. So one of the things, though, is that these drone ports actually take up quite a lot of space. And something tells me it's smart to have at least a couple. But luckily, I think I know a place that's centrally located to all of our stuff that has virtually unlimited building space. And I think I know what we can use to help us out. Behold, my original train station. Back when you could make train station names really, 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 <laughs> really, 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 really long. Those were the days. Anyway, we're going to take a little trip because if you recall, I made a nice little railway that doesn't give a crap about the rules of terrain at all. And now here we are underneath the world where there's so much open space for us to work with. Anyway, look at all that space out there. Let's see if we can use it. Uh, first things first, let's make a platform for building on. Yes, perfect for a drone port. Just gotta right. run some power for it. You know, I'm fairly certain the thing will fly off even if we don't give it any materials. So long as we just tell it where to go. We're gonna tell this to fly to gimme goodies. So I think in theory, the moment I place this drone down, it should just take off. These sound like promising noises and promising behavior. <laughs> Bye. It did. Well, there it goes. Halfway across the known universe, all the way to its destination, where it abruptly stops and then appears to maintain a holding pattern, along with this other drone, and I have no idea why. It's not because I put the foundations there, right? It's not like you cared about that before. Well, let's check real fast. Nope, they definitely still don't care. Wait a minute. Looks like the power went out on this. Is that why? Let's fix the power and find out. Oh, looks like that was the reason. Now that we got the green, stuff's landing again. Okay, wait, now I have to know. If I I leave it red, also known as no power. How many of you can be up here? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, now we have they, four total. Okay, We're four. gonna make sure to set them all to gimme goodies. Oh boy, and here they go. <laughs> Stay in formation, pilots. What did I say about breaking formation? You might be asking yourself why I didn't just build these things closer. Because then we couldn't have this amazing journey. And we wouldn't be able to see this glorious drone ballet. Okay, here they come. Let's see what happens. I see. Well, I think we know what needs to happen next, don't we? Is there a limit to this? Only one way to find out. No, this is a madness. 
Okay, so I've been at this for a little while now. I've built a couple of drones. The foggy view distance here stops you from seeing all that I've made. But let me tell you, there's a lot of drones here. In total, there's 384 drones here, quietly spread out underneath our base. And for each and every one of these, they're all set to go to gimme goodies. All right, so let's turn on the power. Oh boy, here goes nothing. Let's see how this destroys the frame rate. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. No. Up oh, and off they go. Off at two frames a second to seek fame and fortune on their pilgrimage to the sacred gimme goodies. You know what I did back at the base too? Just to add some fun is I added a bunch of explosives to things. Not sure how that works, but I'm not gonna question it. You know, so we can get that real feeling like they're trying to be shot down. Evasive maneuvers, serpentine, serpentine. <laughs> Before you know it, here they are coming in to join the queue. Higher and higher and higher. Oh my God, what are we looking at? This is actually really pretty, huh? You know what? I guess there really isn't a limit. It looks like this really can just keep going forever. I mean, seriously, look how high this goes. There's my cannon. There's the drones. And here's how much higher they go. And boy, is it going to be a long queue to land at this station. Ah, one down. An eternity of drones left to go. You know, let's just use more traditional means to get our stuff from the other base. But let's tackle that next time. By the way, did I mention that I stream? I do. Link is in the description. You should check Holy it out. So I hope cow. you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time. Okay, well, this guy's got an active imagination. First of all, again, the one thing I gotta condemn is what happened to the lizard doggy. You just, you just, if he, he, he's your pal, he's your buddy. You just don't put barrels of toxic waste on him and just throw him over oh, over a cliff. I just can't do that. Uh, but uh, very creative with the drones. I will say that left me speechless with the fact of just how perfect it looked and how it was just moving around in coordination. It just. Looked, looked really nice. It looked very uh, entertaining. So, um, yeah, satisfactory. I would play this game, uh, but I will not go to the depravity of throwing a lizard doggy off the cliff. If there's one thing, if there's a line that I will not cross, it is hurting a good, innocent lizard doggy because those lizard doggies look like they want to be your pal, and I just can't stand with that. Be nice to your uh, fine uh, feathered friends. Um, you don't want to hurt them, even your scaly lizard friends, because, uh, you know, come on, we're better people than that. With that being said, hope you enjoyed this React video. If there's a fun React video you want us to react to, type it in the comment section below, and we'll get to it as fast as possible. Take care.